Today Microsoft started rolls out KB5040442 for Windows 11 version 23H2 and version 22H2. This is part of the July 2024 Patch Tuesday update, brings several improvements for existing features, security improvements, and the latest bug fixes. You can navigate settings, Windows Update and hit check for updates to download and install the update. Windows Update download and installation may take some time. Depending on your internet connection speed, how fast it download the required files from Microsoft server and your system apply it. Once done, you need to reboot your computer to apply changes. Installing today's update advanced to Windows 11 build 22631.3880 and you can run Winver command to check the same. If you experience problem download and install the update you can download Windows 11 KB 504 0442 offline package from the Microsoft Update Catalog and install it manually. Here download the offline installer package according to your need. If you have Snapdragon based processor the ARM package is for you. For Intel or AMD processors go for X64 package. Now talking on what's new on today's update. This security update includes improvements that were a part of update KB5039302, released June 25th, 2024. This update adds a new Game Pass recommendation card on the settings homepage. This home page shows on Home and Pro editions when you sign into Windows using your Microsoft account. The card appears if you actively play games on your PC. The Show Desktop button is on the taskbar again by default. To change this, right-click the taskbar and choose Taskbar Settings. At the lower part of the page, you will find Taskbar Behaviors. Also users can now create 7-Zip and Tape Archive tar, files using the context menu. When you right-click a file, a compress to item gives you ways to compress a file using tools like gzip, bzip2, and more. Also right-clicking a file and selecting compress to lets you use tools like gzip and bzip2. This update also adds support for emoji 15.1. The new emoji are horizontal and vertical head shake, phoenix, lime, brown mushroom, broken chain. Also users can now copy files from the Windows Share window. Just need to click the new copy button. This update starts the rollout of the new account manager on the start menu. When you use a Microsoft account to sign into Windows, you will get a glance at your account benefits. This feature also makes it easy to manage your account settings. This update also enhances File Explorer by adding a thin black border around selected files or folders for better visibility. Additionally, the Copilot app is now pinned to the taskbar and functions like a typical app, allowing for resizing, moving, and snapping of the window. The availability of Copilot will vary and will be rolled out gradually to existing Windows 11 PCs. The update also fixes an issue with the touch keyboard, which previously could not enter special characters when using the Japanese 106 keyboard. Today's update also resolves an issue with the snipping tool that caused audio distortions when recording videos on certain PCs. It also fixes a problem where the safely remove hardware option fails to eject USB devices when task manager is open. What more? You can now use OneDrive as a remote APP in Azure Virtual Desktop. The units for DDR speed have been updated from MHz to MT S. Task Manager now releases process handles more quickly when stopping a process, improving its reliability. Additionally, performance improvements have been made to the sort order of processes in Task Manager. Today's update also brings multiple enhancements and fixes, 
including improved support for packet drop collection in the virtual filtering platform VFP, better detection of network speed in group policy, and resolution of issues with storage spaces direct S2D, and remote direct memory access RDMA, causing network failures. It addresses GPU power consumption, adds a registry key to disable display mode change animations, and updates country and operator settings asset COSA, profiles for mobile operators. It also resolves issues with Azure Virtual Desktop Session deadlocks, firewall profile changes, high CPU usage in the Windows filtering platform, WFP driver, and the input method editor, IME candidate list display. Microsoft also noted few known issues with today's update. After installing this update or later updates, you might face issues while upgrading from Windows Pro to a valid Windows Enterprise subscription. One more known issue include, after installing this update, you are likely to face issues with the taskbar.